Yes, so everybody can see the question here. Okay, let us start. I think everybody has joined now. Amana, Abdullah, Subhana, Arshia. Okay. So the wheels of a car are of diameter 80 centimeter each. Okay, how many complete revolutions does each uh, wheel make in 10 minutes, okay, when the car is traveling at a speed of the 66 kilometer per hour. Uh, see, you have to find how many complete revolutions. Revolution means, for example, this is a wheel, right? So you mark a point on it. Let's say this is the point, right? So now the wheel is uh, going like this so when this point and this is the ground right or you say that the point is here on the ground a so when the wheel goes like this so this point like goes like this goes like this and when it comes back at this original position then we say one revolution is completed understand that means one complete round uh, of the wheel okay so for finding the number of revolutions, you have to find, first of all, what is the distance covered by this wheel? Understand? In 10 minutes, right? Um, okay. So for the distance covered, if I just, you know, break open the circle from here and, you know, I just expand it like this. So it will look like a line. Understand? If I just expand its circumference, right? So that means... Okay, try to understand it like this. For example, this is a circle. This is a wheel, right? I just break it from here and I just, you know, spread the two sides. So ultimately it will become a straight line, right? So this is equal to the circumference of the circle. Understand? This much length is equal to the circumference of the circle. That means the boundary of the circle you have stretched and make it into the straight line so that means uh, if you want to find the distance covered so this is one revolution right then you have next revolution then you have next revolution and so on so you can just add the circumferences and see in uh, like in 10 minutes how many revolutions is it making i mean you have to find right let us start so diameter is given diameter of wheel which is 80 centimeter right so that means radius is equal to 40 centimeter right diameter by two how many complete revolutions okay so circumference of the wheel let us find out two pi r right so this is two into 22 by 7 into radius, which is 40 uh, centimeter. So you can leave it like this here. We will do the calculation uh, in the end. Right, now a speed of the car is given. So which is 66 kilometer per hour, right? All right. Yes, ma'am. Ma okay. Now let us find out the distance covered. By the wheel. In 10 minutes. Okay, how we will find out. Mm. Okay, what is the, in you know, distance is equal to speed into time? This you all know? Yeah, ma'am. Yes. So the distance will be speed, which is 66 kilometer, right? Per hour. Uh, okay, 66 uh, and into uh, your time is 10 minutes, right? Yes. 
okay now there's a problem this 66 is actually given per hour right and the time you are finding out in minutes so first of all you will convert this 66 into per minute understand yeah ma'am so what will we do this no see this 66 kilometer per hour means you can write it like this 66 kilometer right and per hour means this hour is in the denominator understand right yeah. i mean you can write it somewhere separately this will help you out now this hour you can convert in minutes so when you have nothing here that means it is one hour right so yes. 66 kilometer now this one hour is equal to 60 minutes understand yes yes ma'am so that means 66 kilometer per hour can be written like this. So now this is 66. Uh, uh, now the answer will be in minutes. Okay. So this will not be 66. This will be now 66 kilometer and divided by 60 minutes. Understand? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So we have converted this. Okay. Now, as you can see here, the minutes basically cancels out, right? And the answer will only be in kilometer, which you should get because you are finding out distance. Understand? All the other units should get cancelled out. Okay. Anyway, just multiply. So this 0, 0 goes on and 66 divided by 6 is 11. So 11 kilometer is the distance. Okay. Right. Okay. Now... Uh, we will convert this kilometer into centimeter, okay? Because in the question, the radius was given in centimeters. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, because circumference is actually we are getting in centimeter. So we have to convert this kilometer also in centimeter. Now, if you all don't know, let us just revisit. So, milli, centi, deci, meter, deca, hectare and kilo so i have already told this in the class but new students can remember it you have to remember this sequence okay milli centi decimeter deca hectare kilo so you can memorize it okay milli centi decimeter deca hectare kilo okay so that means see kilometer is a large unit correct and this is a small unit so when you are going towards a small unit you will multiply with 10 understand Yes. Right. Yeah. So when you are, you are converting from a larger unit to a smaller unit, so this way you will multiply with 10. Now, if you are coming from a small unit towards a larger unit, for example, you are converting centimeter into meter or meter into kilometer, then you will uh, like divide by 10. Understand? Yes, ma'am. So you have to memorize it. Conversion table. So here you will multiply and which is very obvious, right? You are going towards a smaller unit. So obviously you will multiply. And when a small unit becomes a large unit, obviously you have to divide, okay? Because the answer will get shorter. Understand? Like, yeah. okay. Okay. So this is 11 kilometer, right? So you have to go to centimeter. Now see, uh, like start counting. So one step that means 110 you are multiplying okay so one two three four and five you have to reach here understand that means by five zero you are going to multiply so this will be 11 into now one and then five zero one two three four five now the answer will be in centimeter understood yeah ma'am okay so just multiply this. So one zero and then one, two, three, four, five centimeter. So you have converted kilometer into centimeter. So these conversions are very important. Please write them. Okay. That how yeah. we are converting. Yes, Martin, is that understood? You joined late? Yes, ma'am. Oh. Okay. Anyway, so we have got the distance now, right? And uh, so now what exactly we have got basically the total distance we have got right let's say this is the total distance okay 
and this is the circumference of the circle like i have just broken the circle and i have stretched it into a straight line understand so basically yeah. we have to check like how many lines are basically fitting here understand right okay. this way we have to check so what we will do is we will divide the distance by the circumference of the circle and we will see like how many circles exactly fit into this distance is that okay so we will yeah. get the number of revolutions okay so number of revolutions is equal to total distance in 10 minutes because only 10 minute distance you have to take oh okay divided by circumference of the field okay so the distance we have got uh, 11 and then 5 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay and what was the circumference 2 into pi 22 by 7 into r i think it was 40 right yeah yeah okay so uh, this 7 will go in the numerator okay so 1 2 3 4 5 and then this 7 will come here and here you have 2 into 22 into 40 right okay so let us solve it so at least 1 0 cancels out right okay mm. yeah you have to divide okay because uh, mm. okay let us simplify this so if i divide first of all by 2 right what will i get so 2 into 5 is 10 right and then again 10 so 2 into 5 and then 3 0 1 2 3 3 and into 7 and now i have only 22 into 4 clear okay so i can see i can divide this by 11 now right so 11 into 5 55 and then 1 2 3 0 0 and and into 7 and this will become 11 into 2 into 4 right I mean, I'm just kind of yeah. dividing by eleven. Okay, this and this. Okay, now I can divide by two again. So two into two uh, is four, and then you have ten. So two into five, and then zero, and then into seven. Now only four is left. Okay, so now let us divide by four. So this will be four into six uh, is twenty-four, then ten. So four into two is eight, and then twenty. Into five and then into seven. Only this much is remaining. Now just multiply. Seven into five is thirty-five. Carry three. Seven into two is fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Carry one. Seven into five is forty-two and one forty-three. Four, four, three, seven, five. And there are no units, okay? Because it is only number of revolution, okay? Number you are finding out. That means four thousand three hundred and seventy-five revolutions it has to make. Okay, scroll up. Sure. Yeah, I have done now. Yeah. Okay. Just one minute. Let him take a screenshot. So, Martin, you can take a screenshot, right? Yeah. Yeah. One minute. Yeah. Okay. So I started here. This is exercise twelve point one, right? Yeah. Okay.
ओके डन मॉडर्न यस मैम डन ओके ओके सी द क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री विच वी डिड यस्टरडे इट वॉज अ वेरी लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन सो आई डोंट थिंक इट्स गोइंग टू कम इन द एग्जाम बट एटलीस्ट यू हैव गॉट ए गॉट एन अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ हाउ टू सॉल्व सच क्वेश्चन ओके बिकॉज इट्स वेरी लेंथी क्वेश्चन सो इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू कम इन योर एग्जाम ऑल राइट सो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन एंड फोर आर बेसिकली इम्पोर्टेंट हियर एंड let us do the fifth question also okay it's just take the correct answer okay anyway let us uh, try to understand the question number 5 now see here tick the correct answer in the following okay and justify your choice if the perimeter and the area of the circle are numerically equal right then the radius of the circle is now what is the formula for perimeter of a circle that means circumference okay 2 pi r okay and area is 2 pi r square so you have to check for which value of r The uh, perimeter and area is equal. Um, area is pi r square. Oh, I'm sorry, pi r square. Yeah. So you have to check out of these four uh, values of r, for which value the perimeter and the area comes out to to be the same. Okay. So one by one we can do it. No problem. Now a. So r is two units, right? So what is the circumference? Two pi r. That means two into pi. And into two, right? So this is four pi. You can leave the answer in pi, and the area will be pi r square. Okay, so pi into r means two square, which is four pi. So for the first uh, a itself, you are getting it. So that means if r is equal to two units, the circumference and area is coming out to be the same. Okay. Same way you can check for b, c, d, but a is the right answer here. so in this exercise please mark in your book uh, question number 1 and 4 are like uh, important for examination point of view yeah ma'am i have done okay now the next exercise okay so now for the next exercise you have to understand what is a sector and what is a segment okay so let us re revisit first of all what is the sector so if you have a circle right this is a circle and this is the center of the circle right so if i just just try to see like it's like a cake okay and you cut a piece of this cake understand um so now this is divided into two sectors understand now this is smaller part of the circle is called the minor sector and minor sector okay and the left part is called the major sector 
This you all know, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. So in this exercise, you have to deal with the area of sectors, minor sector and major sector. Now, from here to here, uh, if I talk of minor sector, so from here to here, this is called the length of the minor sector, okay? This is the length of the minor sector. And area, you know, I mean, the shaded part, which is covered, so this is area, okay? So, okay, so for the full circle, like we denote this length by circumference, okay? Now we are taking only a small part, so we denote it by L. So please note down what is the formula. Length of sector. Right? So length of sector is, yeah, okay. And sector is always measured in theta. Uh, okay, now try to understand here. For example, this is a circle. So you take theta is equal to, let's say, 75 degree. So this angle is 75. Okay, now you decrease your theta. Let's say theta is only 30 degree. So this is 30 degree angle. So basically, as the angle gets smaller, the length of the sector also gets smaller. Understand? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So length of the sector basically depends upon the angle uh, subtended by it. So there's an angle, which is theta here. So you can mark this angle in the figure. This is angle theta. So that means theta divided by 360. 360 is basically the complete angle, okay? So theta divided by 360 and into two pi r. So two pi r is the circumference. So you are taking theta by 360 part of the circumference. That is the length of the sector, okay? Because ultimately it's some part of the circumference, okay? So theta by 360 part of the circumference. Okay, and area of sector, so area again, it is theta by 360 part of the complete area of the circle that is pi r square. So it's easy to remember, right? Is that okay? Yeah, ma'am. Okay. So I think let's do questions now. I'm really asking sector, which sector are they referring to major or minor? Uh, this is minor, right? And major means if you subtract uh, this much from the whole circle, you will get length for the major sector, oh, right? Okay. Yeah, so basically this is minor, yeah, okay. And the length means like... Yeah, arc. length, yeah, okay. So, Martin, this is the complete length, right? That means the circumference, which is 2 pi r, yeah. right? And if you cut a sector, for example, here to here, so that means this much length you are considering. I mean, not the complete circumference of the circle, only from here to here, because this is your angle theta. Okay? Okay. Yeah, from here to here, as I have marked, this is L. So please mark it in the figure also. Yeah, my own standard. And obviously, this is radius r. Okay. Right. Okay, let's do questions from the exercise and then we will see the. So, segment, I'll just tell later on. First of all, let us do sector questions, then we will come to segment. Right, so as you can see, you have to use pi 22 by seven unless it's stated otherwise. Otherwise means sometimes they can ask you to put 3.14 as I told you. So exercise 12.2, find the area of the sector of a circle with radius six centimeter and the angle uh, is given. So radius is six centimeter, right? And uh, 
theta, which is also given, that is 60 degree. So area of sector is equal to theta by 360 and into pi r square, clear? So remember it like this, that you are taking theta by 360th part of the complete area of the circle, understand? Okay. Uh, just put the values. So your theta is 60, right? And then complete 360 and into pi, which is 22 by 7 and R square. That means 6 into 6. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Now just simplify. So 1, 0 goes out, right? Okay, in the next step, I'm going to solve it. So 1, 0 from here goes out and 6 into 1 and 6 into 6. So I get only 1 by 6 and into 22 by 7 into 6 into 6, right? So I'm writing all the steps. I mean, you can do in one step also if you wish. So 6, 6 at least goes out here. So 22 into 6 divided by 7. Um, now you can multiply because it's not divisible by 7. So 6 into 2 is 12, carry 1 to 132 divided by 7. Uh, you can kind of, and centimeter square. Now from where it is coming, because this radius was in centimeter, this was also in centimeter. So your answer is in centimeter square, understand? You can convert into decimal also if you wish. So seven into one is seven. Then you have 62, seven into uh, eight is how much? 56. So you have 6 then and then 60. So again, 7 into yeah, 7 into 8 is again 56. Then you have 40. 7 into 5 is 35. And yeah, it will actually go on, right? So it is not the exact, I mean, approximately equal to you can say Otherwise, you can leave in fraction. Please check in NCRT. Like, is it given in fraction or decimal? Please check at the back. Ma'am, it's given in fraction only. Okay, so you can leave in fraction. Because it is not exactly divisible, right? Yeah. No, it will keep on coming. So I hope it's understood. This yeah. question was, okay, straightforward question. Uh, second question, let's see. So find the area of the quadrant of a circle. What is quadrant? Who will tell me? See, this is full circle, right? Or we divide it in four. Yeah, I mean, we, when we divide, don't we call it first quadrant? This is second quadrant. Remember? Oh, yeah. Trigonometry, third quadrant and fourth quadrant. On a geometry. That means only one fourth part of the circle you are taking, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so find the area of the quadrant of a circle whose circumference is given. So will the angle be 90? 90 degree, exactly. So circumference here is given, which is 2 pi r, right? Oh, sorry, uh, 2 pi r, the formula, it is 22 centimeter, which is given, right? So that means 2 pi r is given, which is 22 centimeter. So you can find r from here. So 22 divided by 2 pi centimeter. So just leave it in pi for the time being, okay? Right, now find the area of the quadrant. So area means, theta by 360 into area of circle. Understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Now what theta you will take here? Obviously 90 degree. Right? Yes. So here your theta is 90 degree. Okay. So put it here. So 90 by 360 and into pi. 
into r square that means 22 by 2 pi into 22 by 2 pi is that understood two times i'm writing r and then answer will be in centimeter square right okay so at least one pi you can see it goes out okay then one so let me just cut in the next step so here I'm directly putting the values only. So 90 by 360. Now I have left with 22 by 2 into 22 by 2. And then 1 pi is here, right? So you can write 22 divided by 7. Because it's in denominator, right? Okay. Now just simplify. So 122 goes here. Then 1, 0 goes here, right? And this is 2 into 1, 2 into 11, right? Then 9 into 1 and 9 into how much? 4, right? No. Oh, yeah, 4, okay. And how is it 7 by 22? Because the pi is in denominator, right? Uh, so you will write inverse, like 22 in the denominator and 7 in the numerator. Okay. So now I'm left with only 11 into 7. And then here I have 4 into 2 centimeters square, right? Now I think I cannot divide anything else here. So just multiply. So 77 divided by 8 centimeters square. Please check the answer. I think it should be given in fraction. So you can leave it like this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, ma'am, I have done. Okay. Next question now. Yeah, now see here. The length of the minute hand of a clock is 14 centimeter, right? So you all know how does a clock look like? It's a clock. Let's, I'm not drawing the hour. Let's say this is your minute hand. Okay. So this length is given, which is 14 centimeters. So basically the radius is given here. Understand? Yeah. Okay. Uh, find the area swept by the minute hand in five minutes. So let's say this is at her uh, I've drawn it like this. Let's say this is 2 and then it is coming at 3. So you have to check how much what cover? Area. Uh, yeah. So how much is the area covered when it is coming from 2 to 3? Because it is minute hand. So that means it will cover 5 minutes. Okay. From 2 to 3. Right. So here you don't know what is theta. How will you find out theta first of all? Because for area, you need theta, but we don't know theta in this question, right? This theta. So first of all, let us find out what is theta here. Uh, now we know that um, in 60 minutes, right? 60 minutes, that means complete, uh, complete uh, minute hand starts from here, 12, and then it comes back to 12, understand? In 60 minutes, that we know. Okay, so in 60 minutes, angle covered is how much? That means 360 degree, all right? That means a complete circle, okay. So in one minute, what will be the angle covered? So it will be 360 degree divided by 60, correct? Unitary method, right? In 60 minutes, 360. So we find one minute, which is 360 by 60. And then in five minutes, the angle covered will be, so 360 divided by 60 and into five, right? I mean, this is the angle in one minute and then you multiply by five. So you get the angle in five minutes. Is that okay? Yeah. So this is the value of theta in five minutes. 
steps. Understand? Now you can simplify it and see what you get here. So 0, 0 goes out, right? 6 into 6 is 36 and then 6 into 5. So 30 degree you are getting. Right? Yes. So you're, okay. So your theta basically in this question is 30 degree. And uh, yeah, radius was also given, which is 14 centimeter. So find out area. Area of um, area covered by minute hand in five minutes. Okay, will be equal to that means it's area of sector, right? So theta by 360 and into pi r square. Same formula, just put the values. Theta is 30 and uh, by 360 into pi, which is 22 by 7 into radius. That means 14 centimeter into 14 centimeter, right? Okay, then you can simplify. Uh, so I'm uh, just... Let's do the cutting in the next step, right? In the first step, you should see clearly like what values I'm putting here. Okay, let's do all the cuttings here. Now this zero goes out, then three into one and three into one and 12 I'm getting, right? Then seven into one and seven into two. And then this two, two into one and two into six right? Then 2 into 3 and 2 into 11. And uh, yeah, okay, I don't think I can cut anything now. So I'm getting 11 into 14 divided by 3 and then centimeter into centimeter, that is centimeter square. So just multiply how much is 11 into 14? So I'm getting 154 divided by 3 centimeters square. Yeah, ma'am, I have done. Okay. Yeah, done. Okay. Okay, so I think before proceeding, we should find out uh, the formula for area of segment also, because the next question deals with segment of a circle, right? Okay, so let us try to understand that. Now, what is a segment?
now sector now you understand what is a sector right yes sir okay so let us see what is a segment so this is a circle let me draw it a bit bigger okay and now this uh, segment means this like if i draw a chord chord means a line which is actually smaller than the diameter right and it cuts the circle at two points like it join the two points on the circle so this is called a chord so this pq i can call it a chord and this o is the center of the circle so this part is called segment understand and obviously this will be minor segment and this will be major segment all right so nothing like you are dividing the circle if if i consider the diameter so exactly in two parts the circle is divided understand now if i take a chord which is smaller than diameter let's say here so my circle is divided again in two parts so this will be the major segment and this will be the minor segment all right yes ma'am so in such case in this case we can call it semi circle understand and if it is a smaller than the diameter let's say the chord is like this so now this is a segment understand so this is minor segment and this one will be your major segment is that clear okay okay so we have to find the area of this segment now in this uh, portion that how much is this area if you want to calculate how much is the area covered and obviously we are going to find for the minor only because if we want the area of the major we can subtract it from the full area of the circle right martin complete, yeah complete area we know we can subtract the minor area so we will get the major area so there is a formula only for minor uh, segment now again let us try to derive the formula because it will help you to understand from where it, it is coming so you don't have to do the derivation but at least once we should do it for to understand right now you can see a circle here and let's say this is my segment uh this is my segment i want to find this area clear and this is the center o let me call this point p and q and let us join it so don't you think if i want this area of the segment now see here area of segment and how we will name it uh, let us put some point here let's say r uh, right so r is any point like here it can be anywhere so just to differentiate that i am now see here if i write only pq so it will become a chord right and because i am referring to only this much part like the lower part so i am putting a point r here so i am calling it pqr is that okay area of segment pqr so i hope you understand now now area of segment will be equal to area of sector which sector again this sector p uh prq can i call it prq and then minus area of triangle or you can call it oprq right minus area of triangle uh opq is that understood see i have this sector right if i find the area of the complete sector and then i subtract this area of the triangle so ultimately i le i'm left with this area of the segment yeah is that understood now yeah ma'am 
Now this area of sector, we already know how to find. We know the formula, right? Yes. Now what, what is the formula for area of triangle? Mm. One, by, um, one by two into V into height. Yeah, base into height. Understand? So now both the formula we know. So we can just subtract and find the area of the segment PQR. Is that clear? So this area we will get, the purple one. Right. So uh, this formula, like we already know, uh, in terms of R, I mean, the radius is R and uh, this angle is theta. So in terms of R and theta, we know this formula. Now come to area of triangle. Let us see how to find it here. So half base into height. Now, what is the base of this triangle? PQ, right? Yes. Okay. So base is PQ. And what about the height of this triangle now? So this height we don't know, right? Yeah. Okay. So we will make use of trigonometry here. Okay. Let us call it L. Let me call this point L. So uh, I'm just dividing it. I'm dropping a perpendicular. So that means this angle is now only theta by two. Is that understood? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm, now the height OL, I don't know, right? This OL I want to find. Is that understood? Yeah. Okay. So now let me take this triangle. Now in triangle OLP, can everyone see OLP? The left side I'm taking. Okay. If I want to write cos of theta by two, what will we, what will I get? Like in any triangle, as you have seen, any right angle triangle, right? This is your base, this is your perpendicular, and this is your hypotenuse, right? And if this is the angle, let's say A, angle A. So what is cos of A, Martin? Who will tell me? What is the formula? A, right? A means any angle you are taking, right? Oh. So what is the formula? What is the relationship of, between sides? Base by hypotenuse, right? Yeah. Everybody remember it? Base by hypotenuse. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes? Adjacent by hypotenuse. Base by hypotenuse is cos, right? Okay, I'm just writing in case you forget. Base by hypotenuse. Right. Now, this is your theta. So, which side is base now? OL is base. Right? Is that understood? Because I'm taking your angle is here, the theta by two, right? So OL is one of the arm of this uh, angle. So that means OL is the base for this angle. Understand? And hypotenuse is OP. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. So from here, we can find OP. So your OP will become, uh, no, OL. Let us find out OL from here because I, I'm interested in height. So your OL will become, this OP will cross multiply. So OP into cos theta by two. Is that understood by everyone? Yeah, ma'am. Okay. Now OP is, what OP is the radius? So this is R into cos theta by two. Understand? Um, okay. Now, similarly, let us write sine theta by 2. Sine, you know, perpendicular upon hypotenuse, right? From trigonometry, we know this. Now, this is the angle theta by 2. So, which side is perpendicular? That means PL, okay? And by OP. Is that okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So from here, my PL will be OP will come here and into sine theta by 2. Okay. Okay. Uh, so again, this OP is R. So you can call it R sine theta by 2. 
is that okay yes ma'am hmm. so now exactly what i have got i have got ol let me just write it again so ol is r into cos theta by 2 at least this one thing i have got this is the height of the uh, triangle clear right and base of the triangle height of triangle uh, opq which is equal to ol right and if i want to write base of triangle opq so this will be now see in the figure so i have found only half right pl i have found so i have to multiply by 2 because base is pq understand so base is pq which is twice of pl is that okay yeah and pl i have already found so that means 2 into r sin theta by 2 so i have got the height of the triangle i have got the base of the triangle right martin so let us find out the area of the triangle so area of triangle opq is half into base into height right so just put the values now half into base is this r cos theta by 2 right height is 2 r sin theta by 2 okay so this at this 2 goes out right this 2 cancels out from here and r into r is r square and then you have sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2 is that understood yeah so i have got the area of the triangle now i was interested in the area of the segment so now the area of segment is equal to area of sector which is theta by 360 into pi r square right and minus area of the triangle which is r square into sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2 so this is the formula for area of the segment see if i directly give you the formula you will not understand what is happening here so now at least you are having an idea from where it is coming okay yeah ma'am okay so this you have to remember so when you know in your mind that exactly from where it is coming so you can easily write it so you know it is area of the sector and minus the area of the triangle okay so i'm leaving here at least the formula we have done and then we will continue from question number uh, whichever question is there 5 or 4 right, yeah 5 so in the next class we will continue thank you ma'am Okay. Thank you. Bye.